What's up guys, my name is Vikas and in this video I'll be showing you how to scrap data from the internet. So for this example, I'll be getting data from this website which is English Nepali Dictionary. Let me reload this. So this is basically a um, dictionary for translating English into Nepali. So here I searched for a button. You can hit search and it will give you the result right here. So what I want is this. So what I'll do is create a input field like this and search button and when they click that it will go to this website and get the data and will display it to the user. So before doing that I'll show you how to uh, copy the website uh, like crawl, it, uh, crawl the website. So this is all you have to know and you just have to remember all the thing you do not have to know how every single thing works but I will explain you later first um, what I did was create index.php on my ST docs so if you don't know what I'm talking I'll leave the, uh, the video description video uh, link in the description so go check that out and there I'll show you how to download uh, local host and how to uh, create index.php or uh, other files so for this we need to create index.php which I have already created and um, to get the data from website we need to use crawl so I'll just show you the example first um, I'll go to local host so yeah it's already loaded so what we did here is create a variable and stored crawl underscore initialize so it will initialize the crawl and crawl uh, set opt so these are the options so the first uh, we have to enter our crawl initialize uh, initial uh, which, we, which will initialize so we already created the variable for that therefore we just have to put ch and uh, our uh, property uh, is crawl option underscore URL so the value for that is google.com so you can change this to any website that you want and another thing is uh, there are um, lots of options that you can put in here and here so uh, you can go check that out on PHP page so just type crawl uh, set option and you'll find other options so here we have a crawl opt underscore header which is so let's go back to Oprah and when we it should be false but um, so when we reload the page uh, the, the header for the page is Google so let's see let's change this to one and reload let's see if we can see any changes okay so um, crawl opt underscore header will hide the header so zero means false and one means true so let's keep it false so okay now this this looks good and this will uh, grab URL and pass it to the browser so this is basically displaying uh, the website on our website so um, so this is the variable from before and this will execute crawl and this will close the crawl so this is the basic example now let's look at this website so here uh, we have one problem uh, for Google you can uh, go you can type http google.com to work just fine uh, or uh, it will uh, redirect you to https which is SSL uh, secure website so this is also SSL secure website so um, for this we need to use different options but uh, let me see if this works if this works we do not have to use the option uh, different crawl set option so let's uh, type HTTP www. okay this is fine let's see local host okay so it says uh, 301 moved move temporarily so we have a solution for this so the website is not displaying because the website is HTTPS not HTTP so we'll change HTTP to HTTPS and it will still not work because um, we, we need to 
oh it did work but uh if you try to open some other website which has https you can simply use this option so i'll just show you uh, if you get stuck doing some other projects so in the option you can type curl opt underscore ssl and verif uh verify 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 peer and uh, you can set this to false and it will work just fine okay so this is uh let me see if it still works like this okay it still works but uh this is when you are using https instead of http okay now we got our website so whenever we search for the word let's just type word or any other word okay pass any anything any uh it will okay in if you are using opera it will not show you the url but what it does is um it just changes this part and we can type anything here so this is type font okay there you go so we need this url i'll just copy that and paste it over here so when we search like this um, uh, i think it will not display anything okay yeah because uh okay so the problem is https okay let me reload this again okay um it says word not found because uh it is searching for this and it will say the same thing here so what we need to do is create a variable okay let's create a variable called word you can call it whatever you want so so i will call it family and you can add that word here so you can just simply uh type this so what it does is uh this family can be changed to any word so we change this fam uh so we put this word at the end of q equal and which will change it to this so as you can see the q is equal to nothing but we change it to family so it will search like this okay wrong spelling okay so we will see uh something like this when we reload this page okay so it works just fine but uh we do not want all this all this description and all these ads we, ju we just want this for that we need to use regex so which is uh, regex is regular exp expression uh regex is a sort from of regular expression so here let's move back here uh so if you are on google chrome you can double uh right click and click on uh view page source which is okay let's click on here okay it's right here so right click and click on view page source or you can type view dash source and um colon like this and you will see the source okay so here what do we want to find is let's so to find the word you can uh if you are on mac click on command f and if you are on window click on control f and you can search for family okay so we did find family right here so um we only want this part so for that we, we are going to use regular expression uh this website is very simple because uh if you know html uh some website use lots of h3 and s2 but this website only uses one h3 so it will be very uh, simple for us to separate this word from all this nonsense so uh, let's copy this let's copy this and paste it over here so uh to separate this we just have to type h3 and so uh, this family can be anything when we search okay suppose if we search for family okay uh, happy okay so 
you can as you can see this s3 changes to happy uh, the value uh, inside s3 changes to happy so this can change to anything so we have to so you do not really have to know regular expression but if you do it, it would be really great uh, you can find all the information right here so i will just type dot and extract which will select everything and put question mark so um, this will select everything in here so in between h3 so this slash this uh, backslash won't work for that we need to we need to uh, put escape character which is this so you might not understand but uh, there are some great videos on YouTube about regular expression go watch that so I'll just copy this so what it does is separates everything everything in here this way everything in here to just this so let's go back to sublime and let's preg match all so we're going to so this is going to be our pattern so just put double backslash and paste this inside now this will be our pattern and our subject is uh, so okay so for the subject let's just put this on hold now so uh, we need to create one more call set option so ch and our option would be url transfer called return transfer call opt return so return transfer we need to make that as a true so i'll explain you what it does or you can simply just put one instead of true and uh, okay so what this uh, return transfer does is uh, if we do not enter this uh, we the data will directly display on here so okay there's some problem but uh, what I'm trying to say is the data will directly display on the page with uh, we cannot create a variable and store it somewhere so after we create it return transfer we can okay I just copy this line and delete it so we can create a variable called result and equal to uh, this crawl exe so this will display the result on the website we do not want to do that we want to uh, we only want the result inside s3 which is uh, English to Nepali translation and for that we need to store it somewhere we do not want to display everything to user so that's why we used this so now our result is in the variable called result so our subject for preg match all is result so what is this saying is from result which is our web page this one find words between h3 so it's saying from result everything uh, from here find this so that is all it's saying and after that store it on this so I'll just control Z matches okay matches so everything from here uh, store it into matches so it will store everything into matches now uh, we need to display that to the user so for that what we are going to do is so this is an array so let me just print this out to you print so you cannot echo this out because it's an array you have to implode it if you want to let's go back to Oprah localhost okay um so as you can see this is an array so our array is one uh, and zero so one zero is our array and as you can see um, if we hadn't include this return transfer it would display everything to our website and we did not want it that so what we did was store everything in a uh, store everything in result and then we pick the thing that we want and then we display it to the user using print r so this is not good right so we do not like this so we do not we only want this so for that what we are going to do is uh, let's not print this yet 
so guys do not get confused by these comments this is from the before so I'm not deleting it right now so uh, create a variable called uh, final and equal to you can name it whatever you want and so matches uh, from matches our array from our array one of zero we want that so array one of zero now okay that is good and still if you echo this out I'm not I think it will not display it because it's an array let's see if it oh, okay it does so like this is really great so uh, this might not seem very cool but what you can do is you can change this word to anything you want so okay word word see um, and uh, to make this better uh, what we can do is create let's go back 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 uh, we can create some so, something similar to this where user can put anything they want and hit search so in our problem uh, in our program there's one problem uh, suppose if we uh, search for okay let's see search okay job search okay so this is two words and when you click search uh, it will show you the result but if we put it in here let's see what it does error uh, the reason is uh, let's go back to URL so if there's an space we uh, we are going to put plus sign so we haven't done that so there's a problem in our code so we need to fix that so if you like this video um, subscribe to our channel for more video like this and uh, I'll make part two if uh, we can reach uh, five or ten likes I'll do a part two video so uh, there I will create this uh, input where people can put anything they want and when they hit search it will show them the result and this is not uh, only uh, tutorial I'm going to do I'll, I'll be doing more more of this tutorial so be sure to like share and subscribe thank you for watching see you next time